Hi, I'm Shane Seymour, Company Director of TV Magic Franchising. Oh, hi, I'm Dan from TV Magic. Hey, I'm Nick. I'm Sam John. I'm one of the newer TV Magic franchisees. Have you been made redundant or lost your job? Are you looking for a new lifestyle? How about working for yourself and being your own boss? TV Magic have impressive franchise opportunities to replace your old income and give you the lifestyle you've always dreamed of. I started with Shane about seven years ago with TV Magic. Uh, I needed a job and he, he sort of helped me out. Last time I had a job working for someone, I was a software developer working for an insurance company. Uh, I've done all sorts of things. Uh, waited tables, worked in a warehouse. So, uh, you know, so I did the web design, which was something that, you know, that was the best job I had prior to this. But I got sort of sick of uh, sitting in a chair for eight hours a day, you know. Even though, you know, being a software developer is a professional, you might say, you, you're very, you're not really under the pressure. You're not rewarded for your efforts, therefore you don't usually work that hard. There's a lot of people going out for these jobs and so you're just going to take cruddy pay. I was working for 40,000, uh, you know, which is rubbish. It's pretty scary going being self-employed after being employed for so long and realising that, oh, I now got to do it for myself. All of these people come from very different backgrounds. What they all have in common, however, is that they want to work for themselves. So what type of person does it take to run a successful TV magic unit? Every job's easy for the most part. There's not many hard jobs in this business. On the weekends I was doing stuff around the house, as you know, DIY stuff, and you know, I figured I enjoyed that a lot more. So I thought, uh, you know, I could, I could be quite happy sort of installing something. When, when I was doing it, it was a big shock. Shane helped me out a heap, and uh, I mean, without his help, I wouldn't have been anywhere where I was. I've been doing it for about three months now. Yeah, it looked like it suit me, and uh, yeah, so far it really has. It is like a trade, you know, which also suits me pretty well because I've always liked getting my hands dirty, you know, using power tools and everything. But uh, yeah, to get a bit of the technical stuff as well, setting up home theatre systems, it's, uh, yeah, it's all good fun, a lot of variety. After a few months, it was getting even better and better and better. That compared to now with the new franchisee, uh, new franchisee is going to do a lot better because they've got you know, a lot more support behind them now than what, than what I had when I first started. There are some difficult parts, you know, getting up in the roof spaces, that can be sort of, uh, you know, cramped little spaces, kind of challenging. But uh, no, I mean, it's easy in the way that, uh, you know, it's kind of fun. Yeah, you've got this task to undertake and then you get it done. There's uh, quite a lot of job satisfaction there. In the beginning, you make a lot of accidental mistakes and it takes a while to get unconsciously competent at the, at the work. Nowadays, I do the work four times as fast as what I did when I started. So I can get four times as many jobs in, in a week and obviously the income goes up. If you want to be in this industry, you can't just stand still and not learn. You're always learning and always researching what's, what's coming up next. If a new franchisee was to come in now, they'd still have plenty of training so they can do the old stuff or they get training so they can do the new stuff. For the training, I just uh, went out on the road with Nick, just sort of yeah, jumped in the deep end basically. After the first two weeks of training, the guys have to go back into their territories and they have to work it and they have to, you know, do all the work themselves. If they have any questions or, any, or queries, you know, they've got to give me a call. I'm always able to get a hold of someone who can sort of steer me in the right direction. Previously only dealing with professionals, like business owners. Now I'm dealing with everyday people every day. That was quite different. Technology's gotten more difficult for a lot of people, so we still get a lot of people that need help to come in and do it. That aspect hasn't really changed. Customers still struggle with it and we're the ones to help them out. Yeah, like everything's going to be on the internet soon. You know, internet TV is coming through. And everything's going to be up on the up on the cloud. There'll be, be you no know, such thing as a hard drive soon, I think. There are many reasons why franchising is the best option for a business owner. When you're an employee, you're often on a fixed salary. However, when you work for yourself, your earning potential is unlimited. When you're backed by a franchise, being your own boss couldn't be easier. I guess I was sort of desperate for a change, so I was really looking around at, at what my options were. If you've ever started businesses yourself, I've done a couple of them, there's a lot of time and effort and costs getting set up. And there's a lot of lessons to be learnt if you're doing it on your own. And if you go with a franchise, you skip all that learning time, you set up the right tools, the most efficient way of doing things, you know, it's all figured out for you. It's probably more challenging realising that you're that you're running a business now and it's up to you to make, to make the money for yourself to live it can be pretty daunting. So a little bit of support from people that have been there before and know how to get through it is, uh, is, a, really good, is a really valuable thing to have. 
even getting a logo done, it can take a while. And then your business cards, and then you gotta establish your marketing. And it can take a few years to mature your business into an efficient state. That's like a real benefit of, of a franchise that's been around for so many years now is that it's very well refined already. So much ground to cover. You know, just, just for the basics, you know, it's gonna take months and months. You need someone to teach you that stuff. I don't think you'd be able to do it just by researching on the net, you know. If I had to do it by myself, I wouldn't have done it. Not a chance. It takes a, a special kind of person to do it by themselves. And if you can have a team environment for all the support, then why not? Go for it. There's a lot of cons. You're, you're really pioneering when you start your own business. You, you've got to really know what you're doing. Otherwise, it's just, it's not going to be a, uh, it could be two years before you hit profit. Oh, it's entirely possible to do, it, to do it on your own, but why do it on your own when it's already been done for you? And there's so much more motivation to actually turn up for work, you know. <laughs> you know, it's not, not like you don't want to take a sickie or whatever. You want to get there and earn as much as you can. You are directly rewarded for your efforts. So if you work, if you're an employee and you're working ten times harder than the employee next year, you're still getting the same pay rate. So it's not very motivating. And so there's yeah, the potential to earn so much more here. You know, so that's that's quite exciting. No, I could never get back a job. I haven't had a job for five years or so. I think franchises are a great way to go because you've got that support that, you know, statistically they're less, much less likely to fail. You know, you've heard that, that thing, you know, most businesses fail in their first year, but uh, that just doesn't apply to franchises. It's just so much lower because you've got all that support and you've, you don't have to do any of the, you know, figuring out sort of what works best. Um, you know, so it's, it's all sort of done for you. So why a TV Magic franchise? What other business allows you to earn a high tax bracket income after doing only a short training course? TV Magic is a great combination of being on the road, meeting new people, answering the phone, pushing buttons, sleeping in, and having stress-free afternoons and weekends with the family. It's a quite an enjoyable job. Before I was doing a job that I didn't really enjoy, and uh, so just the, the change has just been huge. Working for TV Magic is, is, is better than what I was doing before because it's it's really good cash flow. You're not waiting for people to pay you, they pay you straight away. This is good, I get out there, get around and uh, you know, meet lots of people. Having one job, that's finished, off to the next adventure. I was very reluctant to do it because I wanted to make sure I was making the right decision, but uh, yeah, I'm really glad I did now. If someone can be you know, pretty hands-on and they're not scared to get themselves dirty and have a, have a pretty good understanding of technology and you know, have, a, have a high willingness to learn, then uh, pretty much anybody can do the job. I was just surprised. Uh, people are, you know, quite willing to part with their money like that, with large amounts of money, and not, not bother getting a quote. Just going, you know, just, just go in there and do whatever you got to do. Fix it, you know. There's plenty of people out there that just the TV's their life. They cannot wait a day for you to come out there and, and fix it up. You need to be driven. If you're going to succeed, you've got to make it happen yourself. Definitely a lot more motivation and, and sort of taking pride in the work. I have my partner and that she has a job and I just see how this inefficient everything is. And I was like, I couldn't do that. I'm just way too much, too way too productive to be an employee. Uh, I broke my record this week. In a four day week, I managed to clock up six and a half thousand dollars profit. And that was over four days, not five days. You know, if I could talk to my younger self, yeah, I, I'd recommend going down this road. Starting your own business is tough. It can be exciting, it can be life-changing, but it can be a challenge much harder to accomplish when you face it on your own. No successful business owner did it alone. Teaming up with people is what franchising is all about. If you're in the market and want to become your own boss, please call or visit our webpage at tvmagic.com.au. This could be your ticket to something more.